Hello, everybody. It's Badger Piper. Man. Welcome to another quick tip mod, quick tip video. Don't know why I'm talking like that. <laughs> um, today I'm smoking out of the nose warmer again with the racing stripe stem because I think this is going to be the truck pipe. I think she's just going to stay in here. <laughs> Inside I have some BCA. Um, this video is going to be about shanks, making shanks. And it's not going to be necessarily a video about how I go about making them. Because that is going to be probably an upcoming video. Because that would just make this video too long. Because <laughs> there's some changes I have made to the way I do things since uh, filming anything about some of the shanks. And so I'm going to share it with you. But that will probably be in a later video. Um... What we're going to talk about is really like the level of, uh, I don't know if I want to say dif difficulty or, uh, um, I guess that's what I'll say, level of difficulty. So, so we'll go with that. <laughs> and I am, I, I apologize. Well, I'm not going to apologize. <laughs> I will say ahead of time, I'm sorry if you feel offended. If you if, if you make cobs and you feel offended by my list, sorry that you feel that way. So I'm not trying to make this this video to belittle anybody or anything they do. Um, so now if you're gonna make a shank, the easiest way to uh, modify one to be on the top of the list would be the stock shank that comes from Missouri Meerschaum. If you're gonna take the shank out and then stain the cob separately or you're going to leave it in there that's probably the easiest way to do it as far as shank wise if you want to customize one it's just you just don't want it came with it doesn't get much easier than that <laughs> next if you on the list of ease of ease of doing or probably on this list it's going to really um, come down to a couple things um and I should have probably led with that. And that's going to have to be to do with tools needed um, and difficulty as far as getting it to do what you want, I guess. <laughs> so next on the list is going to be bamboo. And um, it's going to be, you know, either the ones with a lot of nodes or the ones that you get from your craft store. This, this is pretty easy, too. You find the length you want, cut it off, and fit it to the pipe. Whatever cop you want to put it on. That, it doesn't get much easier than that either. <laughs> so those are pretty easy um, to do. And like I said before, those ones you get from the craft store, they have long sections and you know, they don't have a bunch of nodes in them. Great um, church warden stems. If you want to make a church warden stem, just go buy a bundle of them from your local store, and which is nice because you can kind of go through and pick the one you want because they always have some kind of little bend to them. You know? So those work great for that. And that's, like I said, that ain't much more than just cutting it to size and then just kind of fitting everything um this might not be as quick video as i want it to be <laughs> next on the list is going to be one that's really popular it's been popular for a while in fact i think even a couple cob flurry contests have been won with this stem and i know a lot of people enjoy it and a lot of people like it so next is going to be the antler stem. That's right. It may, it's a little bit higher on the list or lower on the list, whatever way you want to count down. And the reasoning is now I don't. I haven't done a video of of, of an antler stem. Um, if this is something you guys want to see or you want to know how to do, let me know in the comments, and maybe I'll do a how to in the future. And, but the caveat I'll put with, as far as rating of difficulty, I'm going to say the length of the antler stem is what is going to determine whether it's easy or not. Easier, uh, on the easier side. Um, but a lot, of them, you know, a lot of them are either around, you know, inch, inch and a half. They do a lot of short shanks, inch, cup of quarter. Um, I would say the harder part is... Probably, if you want one like that, it's going to be try to secure an antler. If you're not a deer hunter or you don't know somebody that does hunt, is going to be try and get the ant get an antler to use. And then once you do, it's a matter of just cutting it to size. And the reason why it's more on the easier side than the ones that are going to come after is because 
I think you you know if you're gonna do more of that inch and a half kind of shank something that's more to the size of like the Dagner cob where it doesn't have a long shank on it you can do that with your uh, regular drill you don't need a drill press and you'll be you'll be somewhat successful you're not gonna kitty off too much within that just take your time and then it's just a matter of after you have it cut the size and you have it drilled out it's just fitting it to the cob and that's that's pretty much the mystery there so if you guys do like the antlers ones um like i said leave a comment maybe i'll make a video so if you want to know how to do it because either you don't want to pay for some some of them get up there in price so i mean if you don't feel like paying 60 dollars for one or whatever then uh i can definitely do a walkthrough if you guys want to know how to do that um and the beauty part is even if you are drilling them with out a drill press because they're not they're not like perfectly straight anyways so you know, sometimes it might be easier using a regular like battery powered drill because you can kind of follow maybe the curvature if you want but to use a slider for an example if you oh you just use the pipe so when you even when you're drilling and if you come off a little bit your drilling's a little off on the other end it's an organic material so when you're just sanding it to finish just kind of sand it to that way i mean it'll be easy to hide if your your drilling is a little bit off so that's why i have it more on that side uh next would be the way i make shanks with the hole saw not you know uh i should say like yeah well i like this um why is this it, it is easy this is probably in some ways is easier than the antler but in some ways harder when you get into more cob modding which is more my style i'm starting to notice is where and it's been growing and i've been getting better and better at it and the cob mods i enjoy from people that make them i like the clean look the clean polished refined look now i have made some rustic cobs and i do like some cobs that are rustic in nature but for my style i really like a clean polished looking cob like i have spent time on it and that's just my style. It's not to belittle anybody else, but those are those are like the cob modders I enjoy. Or, you know, like I've mentioned before, it'd be like Dodoff or like Kane Rob Piper's uh, Country Gentleman he made. Those are very polished, very refined, very... Time has been spent on them. <laughs> um, and the reason this... And that's the reason why these... I would put these a little bit more difficult than um, uh, the antlers because... You, to do a short one, you can you can get away with probably a, ba a battery drill if you're staying within that inch, inch and a half range where it's enough that the bit can cut it all by itself without having to come through two different sides. Now, the other the part that where it becomes difficult is you want to build one that's more of like a stock size, let's say two inches, two and a half inches, or whatever it would be. You have to you're not going to find a hole saw probably that length in the size you need. So you are going to have to get at it from two different sides, which is going to re require a couple of things. It's going to require a drill press unless you're really good at it with a battery power drill. And second, you're going to need a, a saw that's going to cut your section dead flat because when you place it on your drill press, you can't have it off at all because your holes won't line up even on a drill press if it's not cut flush on the ends you're going down. Um, so, a phone call. Anyways, yeah, so if it's not flush on those ends, you just, they're not going to line up. So that's why I put that on there. And because if, and if you are off on this end, you, it's very, it's a lot more difficult to try and get it to fit if you are off on your drilling. So your drilling has to be more precise. And that's why I would put it above that. Um, and then when you start adding like, the racing stripe on here that becomes more difficult because now you have to lay out you can't once you if you're going to do the, the the racing stripe kind of thing and maybe i'll do a video to show you how to glue that up it's not rocket science um your drilling can't be off because now you have straight lines going through so you can't kitty left right up or down because otherwise your your lines are gonna they'll look goofy they'll be off so that's why that's a little bit more difficult <laughs> then but it's still not difficult it's just more it's a little more difficult because of the tools you need and the more precision you have to be a little more precise with it um you guys can feel free to disagree on that that's fine um and then the last would probably be if you're turning them yourself just because if you a lot of people don't have access to a lathe or have one so which would open up a, a really big window to do some really cool stuff but if you don't have access to one or use one or 
anybody turns wood, I mean, sometimes that can be an art form in itself. And I've done a lot of woodworking and a lathe is still something I, I haven't really, I've, I've used, I've used them, but I, by, by no means am I an expert at it. It's, it's definitely a skill that you keep learning. So to turn some, that would probably be the hardest just because the, you have to have the ability to use a lathe. You have to have access to a lathe and then the knowledge that comes along with that. So that is kind of my list. Um, feel free to disagree if you want. Um, hopefully that doesn't offend anybody that does make cob mods. And if it does, I'm sorry you feel that way. It wasn't not, my intent is not to be rude to anybody, but to help people understand if they want to get into it, how to do it. Or if they want something and just don't want to spend gobs of money on something that's, you know, they don't want, <laughs> but they want it, but they don't want to spend $70 on a, a cob pipe or $50 on something that uh, they can make themselves. Like I said, none of the I do is proprietary. Nothing any cob modder does is proprietary. They don't own the rights to the cobs. So, and I don't sell them. So I have nothing to hide. So I'm fairly open book with everybody about how I do things. So there you go. Like I said, if you want any more videos on how, any of these processes in detail, um, let me know. Comment below. Hopefully this will help somebody. Sorry this quick one ran a little bit long.